like we thought. Great. One. With all the pieces that she's stolen, Grace can now use the dagger's dark matter energy to supercharge the atomizer. Apparently, it wasn't enough for her to just kill all the medicine in Central City. With this supercharge, she'll kill every meta in the country. All right, look, I know you guys want me off this whole oh. song thing, but you got to hear this. Ralph. No, you got to look at this. Uh, you got to hear this. So just just give me a second, all right? I... Please. All right, so this is the original timeline with the original cicada David Hirsch. This is the night of the Enlightenment when Nora interfered with the satellite, giving us our cicada, Orlin Dwyer. That's also the same night that Grace goes into a coma. This is where it gets complicated. At some point in the future, Grace wakes up. She becomes her own full-fledged cicada. She goes back in time. She kills her uncle with his own dagger. What happens to all the metas that Dwyer killed? Do they get unkilled? What about all the metas that Grace killed in the future? What did she kill them with? And most importantly, what happens in the timeline where Grace never killed Dwyer? Something doesn't add up. But you might be right. But right now, there won't be any future for any metas if we don't get rid of that dagger. Now, this is our last chance. We have to figure out how to find Grace. Or we lose everyone. We'll go see what the satellites can do. Maybe we're due for a miracle. I think we made the right decision leaving Nora out of this. I mean, the whole reason she came back was to fight Cicada in the first place. We're her parents, right? It's our job to protect her from harm. The best way to do that is just keep her far away from it. Frost's connection. Let's see what you can do for me and Grace. 